The key to doing well with your sentences is variety, using lots of different kinds of sentences. Sentences generally vary by length and by mood. Length is easy enough, is it a small sentence or a long sentence? But the mood of a sentence is basically the type of sentence that it is. There are four main types of sentences. Declarative sentences are basically statements. Declarative sentences are telling it like it is. The sky is blue. The sun is bright. This room is dark. They're just statements, simple sentences that tell you what's happening. And the majority of your sentences will be declarative. Don't believe me? Go and look at the last piece of English writing that you did and you'll see that the majority of your sentences are simply statements. You know, it was a bright sunny day. Mr. Smith walked down the street. All of this, you're just saying what's happening. And this is why you need to add a bit of variety to your sentences. Variety by changing every now and then the mood and using some of these three moods instead. Imperative is a command. Sentences that are commands tell people what to do. Kick this door down! Go to the shops! Eat this sandwich! And forming imperatives is very easy. All you have to do is take the thing you want people to do, you want to command them to do, like to kick, or eat, or run. Not kicking, eating, or running. Kick, eat, or run. And put it at the start of the sentence. Well, try and come up with a sentence that begins with the word kick, or eat or run, and you'll always come up with an imperative. Kick this ball, eat this pie, run to the shops. These are really powerful things in persuasive writing. So if you're getting someone to, uh, if you're writing a persuasive text trying to persuade someone to save electricity, instead of saying, you know, you might consider thinking about how you save electricity, this precious resource, you could say, save electricity, or Think about your actions. You're not saying, would you mind terribly thinking about your actions? You're saying, think about your actions. Save electricity. Do my laundry. All these sorts of things. They are commands. They're very, very powerful. To tell someone to do something. To order them in the middle of a text. It's really powerful stuff. Exclamatives, quite simply, use an exclamation mark. Oh! You know, when you're surprised by something. <laughs> and you're, or you're feeling passionate. or annoyed. But I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! Or overwhelmed with pleasure. Nigga cookies! Oh boy, oh boy! Happy mum mum cookies! A word of warning. Don't overuse these in your writing or you'll sound like some sort of like totally excited person! Dear sir or madam, I'm writing to you to tell you that I'm interested in applying for a summer job. You know, don't keep using them. I would say twice in a text, three times, and please, just use one at a time. Don't use three of them or four of them or five of them as some people do, it just looks childish and silly. One exclamation mark, we're grown-ups here. Be serious. And finally, interrogative. The clue's in the name. If you were arrested by the police, they would interrogate you by asking them, by asking you, rather, questions. So an interrogative is a question. And what kind of question might you use in your writing, boys and girls? Yes, indeed. A rhetorical question. So, before we even go any further, um, by looking at the moods of a sentence, we know that a lot of the sentences you use will be declarative, a lot of them will be, um, and you can add variety simply by putting in one command, one exclamation, and one question mark. And that immediately creates some variety and starts you to move you up again to the next mark.